What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, if you are then be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam whatsoever. You will be fed to a very angry hyena. Yeah, that's right. I talked to Disney and they lended me those hyenas from the Lion King and said I could use them to eat people who don't press the like button. So uh, I would press it. Real talk though, guys. Today I'm just going to be telling a crazy story from school about this one super intense hall monitor we had that like always took everything too far versus this kid that always took everything too far, you know? It was like two really stubborn people that both, you know, had no power but really wanted to have power going head to head and uh it ended in a very very entertaining way so i figured i would be telling it i know i've been a little bit mia the office is officially together i ended up getting my desk here and uh one was missing legs so i had to wait a little bit but now it's all done and uh yeah without further ado and more stuff you guys don't care about let's get into the video so that's all i want to do hey, yo, girl i leave you alone don't hold my Anyways, where I went to high school, we had like three main halls, and each hall had a hall monitor for it, which was like a specific security person that was just supposed to make sure that kids didn't sneak out of the hallway and go crazy and like, I don't know, go release animals from the zoo or whatever kids do when they're skipping school these days. I've been out for a little bit, but uh, each hall had its own security guards, and the two main hallway security guards were like, pretty okay. They understood that they were security guards at a high school and there wasn't really much that they could do. They didn't really make anyone's lives too miserable, but there was like this one hallway off to the side that was tucked away that already kind of had traffic jam problems and was just a pain to get to. And I don't know where they found the security guard that they hired for that place, but I'm telling you, this lady was like, had to have been a TSA agent in a past life because I'm telling you, she got so much joy out of becoming like a border patrol agent for any kid trying to go into that hallway. It was insane. Like, it honestly was, was disgusting the amount of pleasure she would get out of it. One time, I was late for class in with this one hallway that was kind of off to the side, and I'm going in and I'm late. And she had this, like, orange golf cart thing that she would drive around. It was kind of like a golf cart that had a little bit of a pickup bed in it, and it was orange. And she, like, pulls up and does, like, a burnout and slides in front of me and is like, do you have a hall pass? And I, I said, no, you know, I'm late. Like, I'm just trying to go to class. And she, like, got up in my face and was like, oh, yeah, are you, are you just late, huh? You sure you ain't coming from doing anything illegal? And I'm like, no, ma'am, it's 7 in the morning. I'm pretty sure most crime occurs at night. I'm really just trying to go to class. And she, like, made me take my backpack off. She checked me. She made me go into the bathroom and take off my socks so she could check my socks. She, like, thoroughly gives me a shakedown because I was two minutes late for class trying to get into her hallway. Like, she was honestly insane. And the entire time she's checking me and interrogating me, she has the biggest smile on her face, dude. It was honestly a little bit disturbing. Like, I was a little creeped out, you know, in the back of my mind. Like, you're a little bit too happy to be searching me and patting me down, you know? Like, I don't know if you should have this job. But, uh, regardless, she was keeping the school very safe, so that was my experience with her. And just a couple more stories to let you know how crazy this is. One kid who was late one time to class tried to run away from her, right? And she was, like, chasing him in the cart. And you know those big gray trash cans that you have around school? She took it and, like, threw it at the kid to knock him down so she could get him. So she had, like, hit a kid with a trash can. I don't know how she never got fired for any of this, by the way. Like, the deans were just like, aha, that, that's good old Susan. You know, the security guard, we all all know and love throwing trash cans at kids so you know she's doing TSA searches she's hitting kids with trash cans she's just all over the place and, and like one thing that she did that made her infamously hated amongst basically every student is when she would pick a kid to search she would do it right in front of the door to the hallway and park her stupid like golf cart thing sideways so nobody could get into the hallway so it's causing traffic jams kids are being late for class like it's a whole thing nobody really likes her but at the same time she's terrifying and willing to like make you go into a bathroom to search you so you're not really trying to play games and like get searched so you just kind of shut up and mind your own business but there was this one kid named Jeremy who was like pretty edgy and he decides one day that he's gonna be the hero that everybody needs he's gonna Robin Hood this hoe stand up to Paul Blart the the dumb security guard of the school and and save the day uh, he didn't really think this through very well. Like, it's an honorable idea, sure. Standing up for everybody is great. But at the end of the day, you got to remember she works for the school and, like, you're just a kid, so you're never going to win that fight. 
And uh, I didn't really know Jeremy that well. I didn't even know that he was going to, like, stand up to her. I just happened to be that my lunch table was right by the hallway where this lady would stay guard, like, right around the corner. So he kind of is, like, walking over to where the security guard lady sits during this lunch period. And he has this big group of people behind him, and everybody's like, oh, yo, my God. You know that thing that people do where they're, like, whispering to each other, but kind of loudly? And, oh, my God, I can't believe he's going to do it. So... Obviously, me and my friends are like, all right, we're, we're going to go see what's popping. When you see a big crowd of people going somewhere, you want to see what's going on. So we kind of stand up and go, and he's kind of like walking towards the hallway. And I don't know if this lady just loved TSA or just loved having altercations, but she hated when kids during lunch would try to come into the hallway. I, I don't know why. Like, it's an irrational hatred for some reason of the fact that, like, that her hallway is her territory, dude. It was honestly like a dog. Imagine a dog that has just been confined to a backyard and like anytime anything comes into his backyard, it just mauls it, all right? So he kind of starts walking towards the hallway and she yells from a distance. She's like, you can't go into this hallway during a lunch period. And he basically says something uh, provocative. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, he, he tells her to shove something where the sun, sun don't shine, you know, shut up in a not nice way, which is uh, very rude to say. Don't say that to adults. But, like, he says it, and she uh, obviously is, you know, what did you say? And starts driving towards him in the cart. And this little orange cart was such a piece of crap. Like, the paint was all chipped off, and it was underneath this orange paint was, like, this crappy poop red like imagine if you if you took some poop and just mixed it with fire truck red for like five minutes that's a really weird way to describe a color but it was like this really disgusting red all chipped off and it's this orange cart and she starts driving at jeremy and jeremy just starts running at the cart and i'm like oh one of them is gonna stop you know but it, it turns into a game of chicken and she's still driving the cart and he's still running and they're getting closer and closer together and they're not stopping and i'm smart enough to know at this point that this is not anime. When two things are going very quickly at each other and they hit, there's not like a massive fireball and then the it goes away and there's like a beautiful butterfly to symbolize harmony. No, that doesn't happen. When two things are actually moving very quickly at each other, they hit each other and bad things happen. Like nothing good happens when two things collide, all right? So anyways, this game of chicken is going down, which is, uh, you know, definitely, definitely not ideal. And as they're running at each other, the kid jumps and, like, doesn't intentionally do a judo kick, but the way he throws his body when he jumps, his feet kind of go horizontal, and it just so happens that this cart is, is kind of low to the ground. So he puts himself in the perfect position to, like, judo kick this lady as she's coming at him in the security cart. And there is no way that this kid did this on purpose. Like, there's legitimately no way, and that doesn't make it okay. Like... Oh, I'm going to teach her a lesson. I don't think anybody thought he was going to judo kick her after playing chicken with her golf cart. I'm not saying that this kid was right for this. Like, I'm really not defending his actions at all. It's not okay. But he judo kicks her as she's driving the cart. And everybody is like, oh, my God. Because nobody wants this to happen. Like, we just came to watch some drama go down. Nobody expected an anime battle where kids are throwing judo kicks at, you know, security guards on, like, golf carts. Nobody, nobody sees that coming. So the kick goes down, the cart stops, and she kind of, like, falls backwards into the back of the, like, the pickup bed of the golf cart, and he kind of bounces off of her to the side. And he gets up and immediately starts running into the parking lot. And we're all kind of just standing there in shock because we don't know what's going on. But without missing a beat, the security guard lady pops back up, gets in the cart, and stomps on the gas. Like... Without missing a beat, after taking a judo kick to the chest from a kid while driving a golf cart, just starts peeling after him. So she catches up with him, grabs him by the back of the shirt, and in one motion, this ginormous woman just, like, lifts him and slams him into the back of this golf cart thing. And to describe what she looked like, you know in that Shrek movie where, like, there were all the princesses and there was that one with the mustache? Like, she kind of looked a little bit like that, and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not saying that she was bad looking, I'm just saying that, like, that's what she looked like. Regardless, Helga the Russian masseuse just did a one-armed 720 no-scope twist pole and threw this kid into the back of a golf cart. So, everybody is shocked. And this is, like, 10 seconds after she just got judo kicked going full speed playing chicken with the kid. If I got kicked as hard as she got kicked, my sternum would probably be snapped in half. And she was like, whatever. So, she has him in the golf cart, and she just turns around and is like 
driving him to the dean's office in the back of the cart and the kid is just flabbergasted past the crowd and when she's driving by she's like any of you other kids want to test me you can understand like you, you're never gonna top me i'm gonna guard this hallway with my life i really have no idea why she was so into that hallway dude like i don't know if she gave birth in the back of that hallway at some point or what but there had to have been some reason she was so damn obsessed with that hallway but yeah Basically, this kid tried to teach our security guard a lesson. Judo kicked her off a golf cart, but it didn't even matter because she was literally made to protect our school for some reason. And uh, I, I obviously, like, just to clarify, I don't endorse Judo kicking your teachers. I'm not saying you should do that. It's just a crazy story. You know, like, it's just one of those things that you, you got to talk about it. So don't Judo kick your teachers just to make that very, very, very clear. She wasn't a teacher. Just don't Judo kick people in general, um, especially when they're, like, Russian bodybuilding gymnasts that even after you judo kick are just gonna body slam you like that's especially not worth it But uh, yeah, that's just some general advice. Sorry for missing uploads guys I really am but if you could do me a favor and press the like button I'd appreciate it comment subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff If you subscribe and turn on notifications and send a screenshot to my Instagram at scrubby I give somebody a shout out every single day today's notification shout out goes to Sayla Abigail, big thank you for having on notifications. I do really genuinely appreciate it. Get yourself some of the merch too. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. If you want to check out the intro song, a link will be down below to the Spotify version. So check it out. You guys were asking for it. So I put it on there. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.